Hey everyone, how are you doing? I hope all of you are doing great. So in today's video, we are going to learn about some automation stuff using Python and then we are going to learn how to live stream 24 by 7 on a YouTube channel. Now you may want to do it for various reasons. Maybe let's say you want to uh, complete 4000 watch hours which is required on YouTube and for that you want to do a 24 by 7 live stream uh, which is going to increase your chances of uh, meeting uh, minimum eligibility criteria. Uh, now in this video I'm not going to or I'm not promoting any uh, YouTube or YouTube monetization related stuff. All I'm doing here is I'm going to show you a use case and uh, in this use case we are going to have three or four uh, problem statements and then we are going to learn how to uh, break down these problem statements and how to solve these problem statements. So what we want to achieve here is uh, we want to live stream on our YouTube channel and for that either we need bunch of videos or we need bunch of you know live streaming uh, related data so what rather we are going to do is uh, let's say i'm going to download bunch of images so probably i'm going to download hundreds of images uh, uh, from unsplash or maybe from google images search and then what we want to do is we want to uh, live stream those images now just live streaming those images is not really going to do lot of things so what we want to do here is we want to also include motivational quotes on all of those images uh, which is actually going to increase uh, chances of people watching uh, our live stream because as you know if you just do a google search of motivational quotes there's a lot of people searching for this stuff okay so uh, there is demand for this uh, now let's try to understand what are the steps which are required in this kind of automation so first thing which we need is we need a list of all the motivational quotes. Now a simple Google search is going to give you a list of all the motivational quotes. Um, so you know if I want to break down this problem statement, basically we need uh, we need to do a bit of Google search and we need to find out list of all the you know quotes which should have quotes on different genre uh, genre. So for example, we may have inspirational quotes related age or let's say nature or business or um, maybe entrepreneurship or any other you know keywords or uh, genre and then we just if we find this file we want to download it okay so uh, let me tell you this is very simple i just did a, a basic you know google search and i was able to get list of motivational quotes which had like 75000 motivational quotes along with the author name and also it has the genre so basically we can very easily classify or segregate uh, motivational quotes so that's all we needed and that was very easy task which uh, which is which took me only like few minutes to achieve it now let's move on to second problem statement which is getting images related to uh, genre so uh, let's say you have a motivational quote which is talking about time and then you have you know uh, then you are attaching an image which is talking about uh, let's say you know old age so all of these two things is not going to match okay so what you want to do is for all these uh, different genre you want to uh, download related images okay now in this file which is which is like uh, having 75000 codes i got like some 60 or 70 different uh, genre now out of these if i had to go to google and download each images one by one it is obviously going to be you know very time consuming so and also if you just do google image search then not all of those images are uh, you know available which can be uh, freely used some of them are copyright images which you cannot use so the best thing to do is we can go to unsplash okay which is like a image inventory where you can go and download you can search any images and then download that okay so there is no limit you can use all of those images in your project so uh, now again uh, just imagine how difficult it is going to be if you have to just scroll through all those 70 different genres or 70 different keywords and go to one splash and download the images and also for uh, you know for one uh, genre you may want to download four or five uh, different images because you don't want to uh, paste all the codes just on one image okay so that's the reason you may want to for one for age or let's say for career or for job you may want to download some random four to five uh, images okay so this is again this was one of the tasks uh, or it, it was one of the difficult tasks uh, okay if you just think of this uh, but if you know python this is actually very easy and within five minutes you can do it so now next thing which we want to do is we want to add motivational quotes in these images. 
so for example let's say when you know uh, there is a motivational picture related to nature and then there is a motivational quote which is related to nature uh, then we want to put this uh, motivational quote on top of the image okay so basically dynamically we want to edit the images or update the images and we want to keep all these updated images in a folder okay so that's the task which we have now once we do that basically now we have a folder ready which we can call output folder so this output folder is going to have list of all the images which is having motivational codes and then we are going to use obs uh, in order to live stream all of all uh, this bunch of images uh, let's say every few seconds uh, one image is for every few seconds and we can keep this uh, live uh, live stream or obs stream running 24 by 7 if you want you can also enhance these steps by uh, let's say going ahead and taking a virtual vps server and then uh, using this you know complete uh, program on that vps server which which is going to ensure that your program runs uh, 24 by 7 uh, for months or even for year to create all of these programs i have used python and we are going to just you know quickly see uh, how the program is working now with just a bit of simple google search i was able to get list of uh, these motivational quotes and if you go here and uh, click on view raw then you will see list of all the quotes which are available here so it is having some 75000 quotes and notice here that all of these quotes are separated by semicolon so if you are uh, reading this file in a csv editor you need to make sure that you are using semicolon as a split or as a separator now let's move on to this python program so i downloaded this file and i kept it under a c drive live 24 by 7 uh, folder and inside this we have codes.csv file and then i read this file and if you read this file you will notice here or if you just see this file you will notice here that all of these different genre these these are uh, arranged in a sequence order now what i wanted to do is i wanted to randomize it so I just wanted all of these ro uh, rows or records to shuffle and for that all you have to do is you have to use a df.sample which is going to shuffle all of these rows or basically kind of going to randomize all of these rows and after that again I put this output file in the uh, course.csv again and now the final output which, which I had is a, a csv file which is now using a semicolon uh, which is now not using semicolon but using a comma as a separator and also if i do df.genre.unique then it is going to give you a list of all the different genre which is available so for that i uh, have created another program so if you see here you know these are the list of all the genres which we have in that file and now the second thing which we wanted to do is once we have list of you know all the files which is having all the motivational code now next thing which we want to do is we want to go to uh, unsplash okay so this is the website unsplash.com and then we want to search all of these keywords so for example we want to go ahead and search age and then we want to download the file or we want to download first fi uh, five files which are displayed here in uh, which are displayed here related to age and similarly we want to do it for all the different keywords now notice one thing here when you type age here then in the url you can see that it is changing to uh, unsplash.com slash s slash photo slash age okay so i know that how this url is being constructed and one more thing which you can notice here is that if you click on any of the image you can see a download icon here and if you just hover over uh, to this download icon you can see that at the bottom you can see the download url which you need to basically uh, call in order to download this photo so all i had to do is i had to create or i had to import request library and i also imported beautiful soap in order to just uh, grab these pictures dynamically and grab this url and then we are just going ahead and uh, downloading all of these different files and keeping it into input directory so let me also show you the structure which i have created here so all the program related data we are going to keep under live 24 by 7 uh, directory okay so this is codes.csv file which i downloaded and uh, when whenever you are practicing make sure you are practicing with less data so that's why i created another file which is having only 100 records which is called codes underscore access extra small dot csv and then we have input directory where I have downloaded all the files and all of these uh, happened through the program which is I'm going to explain you in a minute and then in the output directory we want to 
keep the updated or edited uh, files which is going to have motivational quotes as well now let's go on to this uh, python program again and i'm just going to quickly explain you that what is happening here okay so we are using requests and beautiful soap and uh, if you are running anaconda in that case you don't need to install any extra package or uh, both of these are already going to be part of anaconda and in the keywords we have give, uh, given list of all the keywords or basically list of all the genre and just to show you i'm gonna run it here i'm going to run this program which is going to show you list of all the genre which is available now uh, i'm not going to run it over codes i'm just going to run it over access file and also in this file we don't have separator as semicolon we just have separator as comma so now let's run it and you can see these are different uh, these are different genre which is available okay now when you, when i ran it on the main file i got you know bunch of uh, more more number of genre but obviously on a smaller file it is going to give you less number of genre now in order to convert it to list all you can do is just write to list and it is going to be list okay so this is how you can convert it to list and you can grab the list and then you can assign that list to uh, keywords and now here what we are doing is we are uh, basically for each word we are calling this url and notice here this is a url which i was showing you that uh, if you go to unsplash you can notice here in the end we have age and if you replace it to from age you can replace it to travel or nature or any keyword and then it is going to show you those related images okay so we know how this url is being constructed so that's the reason we are dynamically you know making this url and then whatever the output which we get uh, we are going to make use of that okay so now it's going to be difficult for uh, me to explain uh, all these programs step by step otherwise video is going to be very very long so probably i'm going to break down detail video uh, in next you know i'm going to break down this video in a two or three videos which is going to explain all of this code in more detail but here all you need to understand is that basically i'm going to all these urls and then i'm uh, clicking here on uh, download and all of this is happening through this program which is downloading the image okay so here you can see uh, after i ran this program i got all these images downloaded and also you can see here in the input directory we have all of these images now notice the uh, file naming convention which i have given here so for age uh, genre i have downloaded five files and first file is called age which is name of a uh, genre and then underscore one and again second file is called genre name underscore then counter number or sequence number so for each genre we have downloaded five files you can see for alone and you can see for amazing similarly you can see for anger so all of these genre we have downloaded five files now next thing which we uh, want to do is now we want to you know edit each of these images and we want to add quotes okay in the images and then we want to keep this uh, updated file in output directory and for that this is a program which we can run so i'm just going to explain explain it to you what this program is doing so we are uh, making use of a pil package and from which we have down uh, imported image image font and image draw and also uh, we are using here a random module which what it is doing here is uh, basically we are just going to randomly uh, generate this file name okay so that's the reason i'm uh, calling this random here so here we are defining a function okay so this is basically if you know bit of python it is going to be very easy for you to understand but for someone who uh, do not know python uh, for them uh, basically this is just a function which we have created here and here in image number we, i'm telling it that image number is going to be random number between one to five uh, as i told you that we have downloaded uh, five images so at any point of time we want to pick uh, any image uh, between one to fifth image okay and then we uh, dynamically want to generate image directory name okay so our image directory name is actually going to be only the directory name so i'm going to remove this part here so image directory is the name of the directory uh, which is going to be uh, this directory in this case okay so this is the directory which we are giving here and then we are giving image name so you can see here image name we are constructing dynamically so image name is a genre underscore and image number and ending with extension which is dot jpg 
and then we what we are saying here is we we are having full image path which is going to be image directory plus image name okay so uh, full we are generating full image path basically and now uh, what next line is doing is line number 12 is doing is it is opening that image and then uh, line number 14 what it is doing is it is just selecting a font which we want to uh, use when we are writing the text so I'm using Arial here, but you can use any uh, any font which is already part of Microsoft Windows. Or if you have any other font installed uh, on a system, you can use that font as well. Now in line number 16, we are opening the image uh, in editable mode. And after that, in line number 17, we are uh, writing content to the image. Now notice one thing here, what we are writing here is called title underscore text and which is being sent to this function. Uh, as first parameter and second parameter is genre and third uh, parameter is index number and we are using all of these things in line number 18 in order to generate a dynamic output file name which is in line number 18 okay so now we can go to line number 20 in line number 20 what we are doing is we are just iterating through this data frame and then we are calling this function and passing quotes name uh, and author name and genre name as well uh, to this function okay so that's uh, that's all basically in, uh, you know if i just had to give a quick intro about this program but if you want to understand this in more detail then obviously you have to you know know a bit of python and then it's going to be uh, very simple for you to understand all of this now this program i have not executed yet so i'm going to run it now and let's see how it works one thing which i, I would like uh, to highlight here is on line number 70 you, 17 you see uh, this so two by two so what it means is that text which we want to write it is going to be starting from this coordinate you can change it uh, change this based on whatever position you want to write your text on uh, and you can play around with this figure in order to see whether you're uh, which you know at, at which position uh, the quotes looks good so i'm going to run it and let's see if it generates output file okay so we can see uh, output file being generated now i'm going to read this uh, file and going to see whether the code has been attached to this or not okay so uh, yes uh, if we open this file we can see our codes but one thing which you will notice here is the font of this code is very small so it, this is a code which uh, got automatically added but uh, the font is very small so again in order to change the font you have to increase the value here which is in title font Okay, but uh, I'm not going to make the changes right now. I'm just going to leave it to you. You can make those changes and you know, make sure that whatever code which is being attached, it looks okay. And I'm just going to see a couple of more files and let's open this file and see whether code is being attached in all of these files. Okay, so we can see a different code on this file. Okay, so it means uh, the file which is being generated is okay. Now one thing which you notice here is that output file name which I have given here is I have just given uh, only the you know index name dot out dot png so rather we should have also attached a genre name and that would have made this program better so I'm just gonna uh, stop this program and then going to make that change because it's going to be a little dif difficult to you know recognize that which is the genre name these these files belong to. Uh, so I'm just going to delete this all the files which were there in output directory and now what we want to do is let's uh, change the font a bit and make it 20 and also here in the output file we want to add a genre name so here we have genre underscore idx which is index okay so I'm going to run it again and this time it should have a little meaningful file name okay so we can see this is nature uh, so in this file we should have code related to nature and I'm just going to open this in ms paint and going to see how it looks like okay so we can see this code uh, which is related to nature okay so it talks about mountains and storm and all those nature and stuff and we can see this image here okay which is related to image as well but one thing which you notice here that our code is not really you know visible much so you need to make sure the font which is which you select is uh, proportion to the image size which you have now we are able to you know achieve or basically able to generate these files uh, dynamically and uh, as i told you in the main file i have 75000 quotes 
So basically 75,000 cores means we are going to have total of 75,000 images if I run it on the main file. Okay, so right now I'm running it on a small file which is having only 100 cores but the actual file which, which is this file is having 75,000 cores. So you can run it on that file as well. Now once you have this output directory ready, now we can go ahead and uh, start live streaming in OBS. Now in order to do that, first thing you need to go to YouTube and you need to click on live stream and after that you are, you'll be coming to uh, this uh, page and then you need to open OBS, just launch OBS and after that it is going to uh, be showing something like that. You are going to have a blank screen and in sources you can click on this plus and then you can click on image slides show okay click on image slideshow and give it some meaningful name uh, in this case i'm just going to keep it default and then here you need to say uh, in the visibility behavior you need to select what you want to do so here i'm going to say always play even when not visible okay so this is fine and in the slide mode you need to uh, keep it automatic but if you want to um, if you let's say want to show next image when you click on when you click on a button on keyboard in that case you can select manual which is not required in this case because we want it to be fully automatic so we are going to select automatic and then uh, in time between in transition it is showing fade if you want to select any other transition probably swipe transition you can do that as well and in the time between slides it is showing you how much time it should wait in order to open a next uh, in order to open next image so 8000 millisecond is going to be 8 seconds if you want to uh, decrease the time to 5 seconds you can do that or probably if you have longer uh, quotes in that case you want one image to be displaying for maybe 30 seconds so in that case you can increase it to 30,000 and in the transition speed you can change it again as well now notice here we have a checkbox which is called loop so loop is going to be used when let's say you when uh, all the images had been finished okay one time and then you just want to loop it over and over again so in that case if you want to do something like that you need to make sure that loop uh, checkbox is enabled and hide when slideshow is done so you can uh, select it okay if you don't want to loop through uh, and randomize play uh, playback so all of those images which is available is going to be you know kind of uh, be shown in a sequence if you want uh, that to be shown uh, in a randomized way in that case you can select here uh, on randomized playback as well now here comes the part where we need to add the directory which is going to have all the images so here in the image file i'm going to click here on plus and then uh, i'm going to click on add directory okay so we don't want to add couple of files we want to add complete directory because in our directory new file is going to be you know continue adding uh, continue added so that's the reason we just want to select the directory so i'm going to select output and click on select folder now one thing you notice here is in the bounding size or aspect ratio it is having automatic which means whatever the size of the image is it is going to take uh, take that size to show the show it on the screen which is not something which we want because the image which you download from unsplash is really a high resolution file which is very large in size as well so i'm going to select 1920 uh, by 1080 which is ideal size if you want to stream anything on youtube so that's it now click on ok now notice here is because of the smaller font uh, this quotes which you see here has gone uh, at the top and it is like very small in font okay so make sure whatever font you select is uh, is good enough to be you know shown here uh, now again you can do all of these uh, thing yourself quotes related thing yourself now i'm going to click on here on settings and under the settings you need to go to a uh, stream okay so click on stream and then here you need to provide youtube related rtmp and stream key uh, i'm sure if you already have done uh, some live streaming in that case you are going to be already aware of this so here is uh, this you know stream url and stream key stream key is very confidential so do not share it with anyone uh, so you you need to provide all of these value here and after that you can click on ok and then you just need to click on start streaming so i'm clicking on start streaming and now we can see here on youtube uh, streaming should start very quickly
So now you can see live streaming has started and here all the images are going to get you know displayed and it is going to just keep on running 24 by 7. One thing which you need to make sure is that your internet is stable as you can see in my case internet uh, doesn't seem to be uh, stable as of now and it's just uh, that's why I'm getting some warning otherwise uh, it is just going to be running 24 by 7 everything is going to be good uh, also make sure that this course thing is just going to be you know the font should be visible enough so your viewers are not going to complain and if you notice there are a couple of things which I did not fix in this program uh, like you can see all of these images are having different uh, resolution so probably what you can do is if when you are downloading images from unsplash you can only download images which is of a certain uh, dimension okay so which is going to make sure that all of these images which you have all of those looks okay and all of those are similar in size so that's all i had in this video see you again in the next video now if you like this video or if you want me to create uh, many other videos related to automation or anything which you would like do let me know in the comment box and i'll be more than happy to answer you